Guys, 11th season on the show for you, 10th for you. Crazy. What keeps you coming back? Oh, it's such a great show. You know, we were just talking. I, I was out at a little park, and these little kids came up to me, and they were eight years old, and they loved the show. It feels so good to be associated with something that inspires so yeah, many just, people. Just being able to encourage and teach kids how to be entrepreneurs. I, I was in New York, and some lady came running down the street, Mark, 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 and I thought I was in trouble. She goes, my son started a slime company because he watches mm. Shark Tank. <laughs> it's like $100,000 worth of slime. When you're encouraging kids to start companies, it feels good. That's Did cool. you invest? They did it neatly. <laughs> and, you know, and, and of course, Shark Tank is a phenomenon of a show. I, it, it, is, it is incredible. But when you watch it, I'm curious, what does the company have to have for you two to invest in it? Yeah, we sales. sales. It's really good to have yeah. sales and execution. Yeah. People always think you have to have a great idea. Mm -hmm. Great ideas are cheap, execution is hard. Yeah, you want somebody who's already taken the step, right? Because right. all of us, everybody in the audience, everybody, what you've had that idea, right? But you don't take that first step to go out there and go get customers and start a real company. So you've got to have a real company, you have to have sales. But has there been a time where maybe the, the idea is great, but you didn't invest because you didn't like the management? Or do you invest oh, in yeah. people yeah, for more sure. than oh, yeah. you, you? I got to believe that the entrepreneur is going to do something with it. You know, it, it's, it's not enough to have a dream. You've got to do it. you got to go out and make it happen. You've got to live it. Right. A lot of people just think I just started this company. It's a job. I didn't want to work for somebody else. I work. No, you got to live it. You've got to, you know, it's a 24 by 7 by 365 job. And when you have somebody that understands that, and, and I also like people whose back's been up against the wall. Yeah. Someone who's been broke and understands that if they don't get this right, then it's over. Because yeah. that's us. Every one of us on the show has, has been, been at the bottom and we yeah. made our way up. And, yeah. and that's, you know, that's the American that's dream. Motivating. That's a great thing about our show. Yeah. We'll show you guys in action. We have a couple of times to sell it. It's a product called Minus Cow. It blocks. Yeah, I remember the, that one. You remember yeah. this oh, one? Yeah. Blocks fat absorption. Here you guys. <laughs> How long has this product been around? We just launched, so I assume you have very little sales. Is that right? That's correct. correct. All right, guys, I'm stunned. You, you guys are dealing and asking these questions. Do you guys wait, really wait, they just invented on, this product on, out on. of nothing and gave it a name? What's, what's here? If I'm, my understanding is right, I'm trying to understand what right. I'm investing in, Mark. You have a bar. You're investing in air. <laughs> bam, bam, bam! <laughs> Shockingly, Mark is opinionated about everything. Yeah. <laughs> this product was awful. I mean, there was but nothing there. you didn't there. even know that. When like someone that, comes in, the guy comes <laughs> out. Someone comes in and says, you take oh this pill, God. you're going to lose 11 pounds? I, while you eat. No, no, no. Well, yeah. I don't disagree with you, but you, you have no not. respect for them. <laughs> when someone's like, trying you didn't even give them a chance to talk. <laughs> when someone's trying to rip you off, Bam! But you don't know that! You don't know that! No way. You guys ready to play a little, let's little go. game? Right, we got a game. It. It's called, I've been trying so hard to train him, too. This is the oh name we've God. given it. It's called <laughs> Tanks. See what we did? Tanks for the Memories. Uh, Tanks for the Memories. Tanks for the Memories. So you guys have worked together for eight years. We're going to see how well oh you know each God. other. You've got your whiteboards there. You're going to write your answers on them. Don't show each other your answers. Okay, we're going to start with you, Robert. First question. Mm -hmm. What's Mark's biggest pet peeve? Did you write your biggest pet peeve? Oh, my biggest pet peeve? <laughs> <laughs> I can't read your handwriting. I, Can you? I'll, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to do it quickly. <laughs> okay, go, show All right, Mark, what you got? I said supplements. Yeah, scam companies, yeah, yeah, yeah scam yeah. companies. Bam! There, yeah. there you go. Uh, all right. We're good. Same yeah. difference, right? All right. All right. And uh, I got one for you. Okay, Mark, don't, don't look. I won't look. Don't look. <laughs> what color are Robert's eyes? <laughs> um, he might not ever be looking at you when he yeah, talks. That's trust me, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're wrong. They are oh not brown. Oh my God. Eight years? <laughs> Just all, all Who the, are you? All the BS that comes out of you, I figured they had to be brown. <laughs> jobs <laughs> did, did Mark not do? Trash bag salesman, disco teacher, party clown. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it right. You weren't a clown. I was not you a know, clown. Because it's funny, you're such a clown on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robert, what's yep. Mark's sign? <laughs> Hey, we, we, we always 
love having you guys. It's always Thanks fun. We learned so much from watching us. Shark Thank Tank. You. Keep up the great job, you guys. And Shark Tank returns this Sunday at 9, 8 central right here on ABC. Woo! That's right. <laughs>